everybody. <clears throat> I'm gonna present you today something. We're gonna dismantle this uh, PS3 to search for some kind of DC motors. Maybe we're gonna make some generators and who knows. For this process, we're gonna remove all the screws from the top. This cut away. Something is falling. Oh my piece of shit. As I told you, we're gonna remove the fucking cap. Oh my piece of shit. Bastard. I'm gonna put it here. So, this is the power source right here. We're gonna strip it over. Let's see. This one, I don't know if you can see it, you can't, but I'm gonna tell you, it's rated um, 12 volts, 23.5 amps, and 5 volts, and 0 0.6 amps, maybe we can do something about this one. This is the optical drive, I'm not gonna need this, I'm gonna strip it over, basically what we are after, we have to go inside this board, and I saw there is a DC fan. Maybe we can turn that into a generator. Who knows? Fingers crossed and see you when I'm gonna be there. We're gonna try to remove these four screws first and to see maybe we're gonna take off the that board. We have managed to remove the the upper part. Now we're gonna strip this, put it somewhere. Now there is the board. I'm going to see if we can lift it up. Nope, there must be some kind of screws. We're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna be back. As I suspected, we have to put it like this and strip it from the, the back side. If we can wait for a minute. You can see it now. There you go. I did manage to set that apart. We're gonna flip it over one more time and to see what we got. Here you go, folks, inside. We are after this motor to see maybe what she's got inside. As you can see now, this is the motor that we are after. Maybe we can produce something with it. As you can see, it's got here a connection with three cables. We hope it's gonna be DC and uh, we're gonna remove these three screws and take it off. Maybe that was it. This is it folks. We've managed to put it aside and now we're gonna test it with a multimeter to see if this is gonna be our wind generator or not. According to the label, if it's visible, yeah, it is. This motor is 12 volts and 2.65 amps. Who knows how many rotation? I can imagine there are a lot. But maybe if we can reverse it, maybe we can get nearly to 12 volts. Uh, who knows? Maybe one amp. This remains to be seen. As you expected, we're gonna cut the wires and after that, we're gonna connect the multimeter. Hey folks, we didn't manage to make it spin to produce some electricity, but we have discovered if we we're gonna connect this uh, gray and brown leads together, and the black stays black, and connected to uh, 12 uh, nearly empty battery, we're gonna connect these two leads to the positive side of the battery. And if we're going to touch the negative, look, it spins. Not very fast, but is going for, for a little bit. It could be a nice wind, like ventilation stuff. Yeah. We're going to see maybe if we're going to turn it over to see what, what uh, kind of voltage we get. Nope, folks. 0 0.3 volts 
0.05 this is not the way you have to do this but maybe if we're gonna open this crazy body up who knows but in the meanwhile let's connect it to the battery and see how many amps is gonna consume this bastard it's 0 0.13 and 15 so yeah it's not consuming a lot of power 